So, but if you do carry it, you will always, always put the weight back up. No, no, no. What is she saying right here is that some people are just gonna be fat and there's nothing you can do about it and you're always gonna gain the weight back. She is setting so many people up for failure because so many people out there right now, they're gonna go get a donut and they're gonna go to McDonald's and they're gonna eat some pizza and they're gonna say, it's just me, it's my genetics, there's nothing I can do about it. How can I get an injection? and not address the root cause of the problem. Let's just talk about Weight Watchers for a second. So you decide yeah. you're gonna buy some stock in Weight Watchers. In one day, she made $45 million. Beep! Carrie here from Healing Humanity, the power of a proper human diet. And today I wanna talk about Oprah leaving Weight Watchers. And I think Oprah is dead wrong. And I think her advice is setting a lot of people up for more suffering more pain and more endless time yo-yo dieting instead of addressing the very simple root cause of the problem here she is oprah explaining the real reason why she left weight watchers and i guess before we jump into why she left weight watchers oprah was working with weight watchers for almost a decade 10 years and she made a total of 221 million dollars promoting weight watchers she was doing a lot of weight watching but she wasn't doing a lot of weight losing she was yo-yoing up and down and up and down and she was paid over 220 million dollars to promote this weight watchers to millions of people who then went on it and probably had the exact same results oprah did I would love to see a large group of individuals who used Weight Watchers and are no longer on Weight Watchers and lost an incredible amount of weight and reached their goals and they're living happily ever after like I am eating a proper human diet. I don't know anyone. I can't name anyone. On the flip side, I can name tens of thousands of carnivores, people doing ketogenic carnivore proper human diet that have changed their lives forever. I can't name one on Weight Watchers, although I can name several people that I know that have been watching their weight on Weight Watchers for years now. Resign, this quit sounds so ugh. And yet, is that what happened or I mean? It is, I decided uh -huh. that because this special was really important to me and I wanted to be able to talk about whatever I want to talk about and Weight Watchers is now in the business of being a weight health company that also administers drug medications for weight. I did not want to have the appearance of any conflict of interest. Right there, that sounds great. Weight Watchers is now in the business of medication for weight loss, which I am totally and 100% absolutely against. That sounds great until you hear her reason. She's starting a show and she's talking about how at 70 she's using this weight loss drug. Oprah's weight loss special featured some dramatic transformations, including this woman named Amy, who says she lost 160 pounds in one year on Manjaro. You'll see the medication going into your body and you'll hear two clicks and then I wait 10 seconds for it to, to make sure that all the medication went in. As for Oprah, she won't confirm which medication she's taking. What does that do when Oprah says that? How many millions of people end up flocking over to use that because she is promoting it just like she did for 10 years with Weight Watchers to a tune of $221 million. I am sorry, but when I hear anyone speak anymore and they're giving me advice on how to live my life or how to change my life or how to improve my life, how to give me hope, I always have to look at what are their motivations. $221 million on Weight Watchers 10 years later and she's done with it. She's quitting. And she admits on here that her weight has gone up and down and up and down. I see. And so I resigned from the board. And while focusing on improving her health, Oprah shares a conversation she had with the doctor about the root of obesity and how it made her look at her weight differently. This is the reason I'm doing obesity the video. Obesity is a disease. It is not a disease for everybody who's overweight. It is a disease if you carry the gene or the propensity for the adipose gene, which is the fat gene. It's a spectrum, just like everything is a spectrum. So, but if you do carry it, you will always, always put the weight back on. And so. No, 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 no. 
What is she saying right here is that some people are just going to be fat and there's nothing you can do about it and you're always going to gain the weight back. I used to think that was the case for me because like Oprah, I yo-yoed and I went up and down and up and down and up and down until I realized that the root cause of the problem was I was a sugar and carb addict. Once I quit sugar and carbs, my weight has been perfect. I have, I've been eating a proper human diet for over a year now. Never done that before in my life and all the yo-yoing I've done, a couple months at the most, up and down and up and down and up and down. She's not addressing the root cause of the problem. It's the exact same thing as, you're just telling an alcoholic, there's some people out there that have a propensity for alcohol. And if those people have alcohol, they're going to be hooked on it the rest of their life. There's nothing they can do. Maybe there's some medication they can do while they continue to drink the alcohol. No! You address the root cause of the problem and you quit the alcohol. You abstain from the alcohol. The reason that you failed over and over again watching your weight is because you're an alcoholic. You're a drug addict. You are an addict and you haven't admitted it. You lose some weight and then you go back to your drug of choice, food and carbs and sugar, and you gain it all back again. It's not that there's something wrong with you. It's not that you're have some genetic malformity. I mean, that is just so silly when you think about it. Millions of species on this earth, not one of the millions of species on earth have this problem that Oprah's talking about. It just happens to be humans. No, it's humans because we're the only big brain species on this earth that overcomplicate things so much. And we've gotten ourselves addicted to highly processed foods, carbohydrates, and sugar. It lights up the brain just like cocaine on an MRI. We've told ourselves it's perfectly normal. We give it to children and then we go on these crazy Weight Watchers yo-yo diets where we try to moderate an addictive drug. An alcoholic would not go back to beer after quitting alcohol. A cocaine addict wouldn't go back to cocaine after quitting cocaine, fixing their life forever. You don't do cocaine. You don't do addiction in moderation. Oprah is trying to do an addiction in moderation. Quick interruption. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in learning more about our documentary, Healing Humanity, The Power of a Proper Human Diet, or supporting it, please visit donate.healinghumanity.movie. Our goal is to reach millions of people that are hopeless right now and sharing the examples of real people over the course of one year that are undertaking a proper human diet to overcome obesity, type 2 diabetes, depression, anxiety, fertility issues. We couldn't do it without you. We thank you so much. We are also selling these shirts, Healing Humanity, The Power of a Proper Human Diet. Every penny we get from those goes towards the documentary. And last, we have memberships. If you click the little join button, it's best to do it on desktop. Under any one of my YouTube videos, you can join and become a member. We have hundreds of members right now. We do members only videos. We do members only behind the scenes. You can email me as a member and I'll answer you. Um, and every penny from that goes to support the documentary. And the last thing is we have these Redmonds portable salt shakers. These things are awesome. You can get the best salt. You can take it with you. We sell these on the website along with our water bottles and cutting boards and every penny from all of those goes 100% towards supporting the documentary. You can also sign up for our newsletter, which is completely free. All of these links are in the description below. Thank you so much for your support. Now back to today's video. When I realized that, you've seen, you all have seen, I've been in the struggle, I've been in the storm of Losing the weight, gaining it back, losing the weight, gaining it back. And what I realized when I listened to what the doctor said, that you are always going to put it back on and it's like holding your breath underwater. This just makes me so angry. And the reason I'm doing this video, it's not to pick on Oprah, but she's pushing people. To, to, to think there's nothing I can do. That's just, I'm one of those. I'm like Oprah. Nothing I can do about it. That is not true. That is not true. I yo-yo just like Oprah. I'm Weight Watchers, counting calories, vegetarian, plant-based diet. I've tried all of them. One meal a day, two meal a day. And I yo-yoed for 10 years just like Oprah until I realized I am a sugar and carb addict and I need to completely abstain. And humans are the only ones with this problem. She is setting so many people up for failure because so many people out there right now, they're going to go get a donut and they're going to go to McDonald's and they're going to eat some pizza and they're going to say, it's just me. It's my genetics. There's nothing I can do about it. How can I get an injection? How can I get a pill and not address the root cause of the problem? Now, Oprah has a show 
And she's been on the news several times now talking how she's taking one of these uh, weight loss injections. Oprah Winfrey's primetime special last night on weight loss aimed to take the shame out of using drugs to shed pounds. These injections are going to be one of the biggest and most unnatural medications in the entire world. There's all sorts of horrible side effects. So even though they're fully being paid for and we're being told this is a lifetime drug, there's lawsuits coming just reported in the past couple of days on gastrointestinal issues and stomach paralysis paralyzes your stomach um, to, to make you not be able to process food correctly. And there's studies now saying that that stomach paralysis, the really uh, messing with your ability to digest food actually stays after you go off the drug. So there's lawsuits now with people with severe gastrointestinal issues after coming off the drugs that's being pronounced and that that's coming out in lawsuits. Um, additionally, because of that, you're consistently seeing patients who go off the drugs uh, gain the weight back. So that that that's almost, uh, I think, universally accepted even by Novo Nordics. When you go off the drug, you gain the w weight back. But again, we're seeing most people that take the drug within the first year come off it because the gastrointestinal issues, the stomach issues are so pronounced. Additionally, the EU, again, where this company is based, uh, just launched a, uh, a, a probe into suicidal ideation caused by Ozempic. She's promoting this thing, having only done this for a limited amount of time. She was on Weight Watchers for 10 years. At least she has a good use case there. Yeah, Weight Watchers didn't work. Maybe you should test this on yourself for 10 years, Oprah, before you go out there and tell the world and literally millions of people that you're doing it and having all of this success. We're seeing your weight loss, but everything that I have learned about Ozempic and these, these types of weight loss drugs that were meant for type 2 diabetes, they're the furthest thing from natural. They call stomach paralysis so that you can continue to eat unnatural foods your body was never intended to eat. Oprah's quoted as saying, I came downstairs and I had a little bit of apple pie. I had a half a bagel. Those things are full of carbohydrates and sugar that the human body was never intended to eat. They cause inflammation. Now you're eating them less so you're losing weight, but you're still eating them. You're still getting inflammation. You're still not getting the proper nutrients your body needs. So many people are going on these drugs that are what is the bias? What is the motivation behind it? Lifelong, you have to take these injections for. And, the, and these drug companies, of course, what are they saying? It's just fine. It's just fine. We don't have anyone that's done it their entire life, but trust us. It's just fine. You'll be fine. And now tons of people are dropping off of these. They gain all of their weight back. And these medical companies that are uh, pharmaceutical companies that are offering these drugs have been on the record to say, it. yeah, when you get off these drugs, you will not only gain all the weight back, you'll gain more back. They're not sustainable. And what happens when these people get to their goal weight and they no longer have fat in the reserves to burn and they start getting very, very hungry? They're failing. So many of these people are failing. There's lots of evidence between the gut and the brain and mental health issues. And this drug paralyzes the gut. And there are widespread reports from people going on these drugs of having depression and anxiety. This is like zombie Frankenstein stuff. And people are, people are desperate and they're hopeless and they're going to listen to Oprah. What is her motivation? Ask yourself that. Why is she doing this? And why should we listen to her when after 10 years of promoting Weight Watch, she failed promoting Weight Watchers, practicing what she preached, getting millions of people to try it, spending their hard-earned money on it, and now they're hopeless and they failed. I'm just going to end this with saying this. It's what I'm always talking about. Healing humanity, the power of a proper human diet. I'm down to over 100 pounds since my heaviest, and I did all of that with no drugs. It was simply nutrition. I was addicted to carbs, and I was addicted to sugar, and I escaped from what was natural for humans. Humans were never meant to drink these big sodas filled with sugar and high fructose corn syrup and seed oils and food dyes and glyphosate and pesticides and forever chemicals and microplastics. It's completely unnatural. The consumption of all of those things I just listed are going up like this, and at the very same rate, so is obesity, so is diabetes, so is cancer, so is dementia, so is Alzheimer's. It's all so simple. It's just the foods we're eating, in quotation marks, because they're not foods. For the last year plus, I've had nothing but meat, beef, butter, bacon, eggs on a strict ketogenic diet. I know that sounds crazy to a lot of people, but that is the closest you can get in this world back to natural. You can't even eat vegetables and fruit anymore because it's filled with glyphosate, pesticides, forever chemicals, a peel over the top of it. It's not natural anymore. 
I highly encourage anyone listening to Oprah to look at her track record and to really think hard before you go on a drug. Really do your research. There's lots of groups out there. These companies have millions and billions, billions with a B of dollars, and they're all over the news, and they have celebrities in their pockets, and all you hear is all this good news, and you see someone losing weight, and you have hope, and you want to do it, but you don't understand the long-term repercussions of doing something like that.